Christians are waiting for the return of Christ. Jews are waiting for the coming of Messiah. Muslims are waiting for the coming of Al Mahdi. This is what many Christians don't know. In Israel right now, there are many who actually believe the Messiah has come. The Messiah who we call Jesus, they believe he's already come. The Muslims are waiting for the Al Mahdi. The Al Mahdi is their Messiah, he's their last Imam. Muhammad was quoted as saying, his name will be my name and his father's name, my name, my father's name. In other words, he believes, Muhammad believed that the last Imam that's going to come into the earth and do all these amazing things, their Messiah is going to be called Muhammad. That's what they believe. Stay there, go back, look at this. So look at this. The Mahdi is of my lineage with a high forehead and a long thin curved nose. He will fill the earth with fairness and justice as it was filled with oppression and injustice and he will rule the world for seven years. Hello. This is where I began to think, what if our Antichrist is their Mahdi? So they believe we messed up because they believe that Jesus wasn't crucified for the sins of the world. They believe God took, Allah took Jesus to heaven and made it appear like he was crucified. Allah's apostle said, the hour will come, will not be established until the son of Mary descends, that's Jesus, among you as a just ruler. He'll break the cross, kill the pigs, as you and I and the Jews, Abolish Jizzy attacks, money will be in abundance so that nobody will accept it as charitable gifts. Mm. Let's look at the Bible. Next slide, look at this. Daniel 8.25 And through his policy also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand, and he shall magnify himself in his heart, and by peace shall destroy many. Just think about this. Now they're waiting for an Ahmadi who's going to bring seven years of peace on the earth. And Daniel 8.25 prophesies that somebody is coming who is going to declare peace upon the earth, but through peace, he's going to cause destruction. For there shall be false Christs and false messiahs who shall deceive the many and if possible deceive the elect. This is the signs of Matthew 24 of the coming of Christ, right? Next verse. Wherefore, look at this. Wherefore, if they shall say unto you, behold, he is in death. He's telling us where this Antichrist is going to come from. If he goes, if he says, I'm in the desert, he says, don't go. And if they say he's in the secret chambers, believe it not. Next slide, look at this. The, the word desert is Eremos. It means to the east or south of Palestine. What's east or south of Palestine? Let's look what's east or south of Palestine. Mecca. Mecca, south of Palestine in Saudi Arabia. This whole war, by the way. One reason, Israel and Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia will be a gate for darkness and the gospel to, their, to the Muslim world. I'm telling you what I know. When that peace treaty was about to be signed between Saudi Arabia and Israel, that's when this war broke out. It's the number of a man and the number is 666. It's not 666. That's a translation. That's the number. How many can see it? Can you see it? The cross swords. Bismillah. Which means, in the name of Allah. And by the way, when you go to jihad, you wear this on your forehead. This is what he saw. It was Aramaic. The Bible was written in Aramaic, not English. So you look at we go, 666. No, that's what he saw. X L F S. Look at it again, next slide. There we go. Can you see it now? Bismillah, that's what he saw. The name of the beast. Bismillah, in the name of Allah. If that doesn't shock you, I don't know what will. Oh my Lord. When I saw that symbol, I was like, dear God. See, the, see where they're wearing it? On their foreheads. Now what about that no man might buy nor sell? In Isaiah 14, the Bible says, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? That's Isaiah 14 verse 12. Lucifer is actually not his name. Lucifer is a translation of his name. 
because all the angels have L in their name. They have God, Mike L, Gabriel L. Who is Lucifer? Lucifer is a translation. If you check the Hebrew, check it when you go home, Bible.cc. His name is Halal, which Aramaic is Halal. If you look at slide 244, you'll see what's on most of your food products today. Whatever this spirit is, is going to own the food chain. And none of you are going to be able to buy or sell unless you got the mark, the name, or the number of the beast.